Alrighty, hi guys. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Canva to divide your images. So this can be for specifically all over shirts if you're doing things like blankets, anything that is bigger than the print size that you have. Um, and then this method you can use uh, your 8x10 printer or if you have a 11 by 19 I'm sorry 13 by 19 um, this is also a method that you can use I am going to focus on the 13 by 19 printer because I know a lot of people have that printer that do all over prints but the same exact things can be applied to your printer that prints only 8 by 10 you're just going to size your squares differently and we'll kind of go over that as we continue to go through this video um, so I'm just gonna start again I'm going to be um, going over like an all-over shirt design so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is whatever design you're doing um, I just have this mock design that I'm going to be doing today and um, just make sure you're sizing so you're gonna make it a 44 by 36 and this is sufficient for an adult small through an adult 3xl this can be used and we're going to look at how you can map things out as you go as well so let's just go ahead and get started i have a image that i created on canva um, so again you'll go with the measurements that you have create your design or you can just get a design off of somewhere like etsy or someone who sells all over designs that are specifically for canva um, and then what we're going to do is I'm just going to use like a stock photo for this. Um, let's see. So we're just going to use, uh, we'll use him, remove the background. Okay. And then I'm also going to be using in this a, um, a guide and I do want more pictures let me see if I can find someone who looks like him uh, da, 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 they're not gonna give me more okay he looks similar so we'll use him and we've just his name is mark for today and that's fine we're just gonna go backward a little I'll move you over okay so one of the main things that I need to do with this particular design is I need to get my shirt guy so I'm going to I already have this uploaded into my um, documents and everything but I'm going to show you where you can get this actual guide from so all you're going to do is you're going to use those same exact measurements, the same 44 by 36 measurements. You're just going to add a page. You're going to stretch this all the way out because this is going to give you your exact measurements and you're going to bring it over your image. So this is going to tell me, OK, these are the things that are going to be cut out. If I'm doing a small shirt, I'm just following that small line. So right now I'm going to just act like I'm doing a small shirt. And then remember, this is my safe zone, like where those dots are. So just looking here, I can tell that I do need to bring this picture over more and it's covering the name. So I'm going to fix that as well. Let me go ahead and just fix that. It will bring him maybe up here. And of course, I would normally size these a lot differently. But for the sake of the video, this is more of just um, showing how to cut. So I'm just kind of throwing it together. But if you need this particular template, I did get this off of um, Etsy. And this is the seller. I will link it here in the video as well. Um, it's currently $185. Well worth it. Um, because And it is true to the actual sizing. Um, so... I've sized it up so let me see I'll just move that I'm gonna bring my template back up all right so it looks like everything's good here it's going to print well um, everything will be on the shirt that I want and kind of the excess is where my bigger shirts will be and you can stretch this out you know make it however you want to make it that's up to you um, but for me this works so let's get to how we're going to actually 
um, cut our pieces out. So the first thing that I, I like to do, first of all, I need to start with the actual saved image. So this I made in Canva. So I need to actually save this in order to be able to um, make my cut. So I'm going to go ahead and save that to my computer. Okay, so we'll just save it to the desktop. Alrighty, so I'm going to bring that back in here. So the first thing that I want to do, and this is specifically if you're like newer to um, creating these type of cutouts, I already pretty much know where I need to place my tiles in order to create my four pieces that I'm going to need to create my all over image. But if you're new to it, or if you simply just need a mock up for your image, I'm going to use another doc um this is another image that i have i got this one off of creative fabrica and i'll show you that that came from here i don't know how much it is um if you're not subscribed to creative fabrica i do pay a yearly membership so i get everything um for free well kind of i already paid for it but anyways so what I'm going to do is just put that on. So this gives me an idea of how kind of where things are on the shirt in addition to using my guy. Sometimes that works better for people. So just kind of whatever works for you. So I just like to have that um, if you're kind of new to where items need to be. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add a page and I'm going to bring my image in again. So this is my uploaded image that I need. Okay, so with my uploaded image, the next thing that I'm going to do in order to make my cuts, I'm going to go to elements and I am going to get a square. So I want to get the, oh sorry, I went off elements. I want to get the black square. This is the one that I use in shapes. What you're going to do once you get this image is, and this makes it so easy, I'm going to go here to color. I'm going to make it no color and I'm going to go to my lines and I'm going to just make a small, just a small weighted line. It's a four right now. That works perfectly for me. I'm not dealing with a black image. If I have a black image, sometimes I'll make it white, but this works. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the position of this particular square and I'm going to make it the size of whatever size my printer prints. So for me, I have 13 by 19. So I'm going to make this a 13 by 19 square. If you have 8 by 10, you're going to do 8 by 10. If you have a 24 inch printer, you're going to do 24 by however long you need your paper. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create those slits. So here's where if you need to, you can kind of look here to see, okay, where do I want to make my cuts? Because we're manually doing this. This doesn't do it for you. So I know that at the bottom of my shirt, I'm going to have, I want these um, two little towers within the shirt. So I'm going to duplicate this. So if you look here, I have that overlap and I have room at the bottom of the shirt. So I'm just going to zoom back in here. And these are my same squares. So all I did was duplicate this. I'm in the good area here. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And the good thing about doing it this way is that you have control over kind of what is split. So sometimes I'm like, you know, I don't want to cut in the middle of um, a face. For me, though, it doesn't really um, make a big difference in my prints. I'm going to go here because I feel like this is a good part. I have um, both towers. And if you notice, you'll see where I did like a little overlap here. And the point of that overlap, that's like my border. So when I'm putting these together, I, it's very easy for me to put together. So I'm just going to click off and then I'm going to duplicate this again. What I'm going to do now is I am going to turn my image because I need a um, image that goes the opposite direction because this is my sleeve. So I'm going to do a little overlap here again. So you see here we have an overlap and I'm going to duplicate it. And again, I want that same overlap. So you're going to notice on every side I have a small overlap because when I put my pieces together, I need to make sure that I have a little bit of room, but I don't want too much. 
and again that's that's kind of up to you I like it just a small small amount um, I'm not sure ex the exact measurements um, but this is kind of what I do and now what I'm gonna do is duplicate so that I have four pages because I have four cuts okay so now that I've done that I'm gonna start at the top and I just like to so this is my first square now I'm gonna take the first square out and I'm gonna leave my second one take out the first two and I'm gonna leave my third square and then now I'm gonna use my fourth one all right and I could have um, stretched this out a little more but it's not really necessary so now what you're gonna do this is why you need an image you're going to slide your image so that you meet exactly with those lines that are created with your square well now it's a rectangle technically but you get what I'm saying and then you're gonna click off the page click on the actual image that's gonna this is highlighting my square and I'm gonna take it away so that square is now gone and I'm gonna just leave it and I'm gonna do the same thing for each one of these click off boom and I'm just gonna keep doing that click off and I'm gonna do the same thing here alright so now I have my four pieces so now that I have my four pieces what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize these I want each of these to be on a 13 by 19 sheet because that is the sheet that I'm printing again if you're doing a 8 and a half by 11 then you'll choose eight and a half by 11 and you'll just go to custom size you can type in the exact measurements that you want I already have this one preset um, but just to make sure you know you can just custom size here 13 by 19 and then you'll just go here I don't need every page so I'm going to only select pages seven six five and four because those are the ones that have the cuts that I've created and then I'm gonna do continue and it's gonna copy and resize so now I have these images on the size paper that I'm using so what I do is I just go in and I make sure it's lined up and I'm going to make the image 13 by 19 you can also do this by um, if you don't like to do it this way to me it's quicker that way um, but you can also go to position and you can just make it 13 by 19 and then do a 90 degree um, well I guess I could just do 19 for this one by 13 and then you could put it on but to me it's just easier to slide it down and these are gonna are remember these are your two bottom pieces so they were already set up um, in this direction and um, I mean you can label these if you would want if you want so um, you could do side one side two side three and side four if you're um, wanting to save them and then all you're going to do now is save what I do is I do save these as a JPEG with a quality of 10 and then I'm going to download once I do that I just print I don't have to do anything else um, I'll just print the images one by one and then I will tape these together so I'm going to save those open and you'll see once you open these and extract them you have all of your pieces and they're ready to cut out and put together and each time they will go perfectly together you have much more control over what is cut and where um, and it just makes it a lot easier when piecing things together if you guys would like a video with the um, actual um, cut out process then let me know below also, if you would like to see how to do any other objects uh, or, or images such as stoles or kid size shirts, let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to upload that. And if this was helpful, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any tips for me, 
be sure to put those in the comments as well thank you 